In the last video, I showed you how to create an AI article writer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create any kind of AI writer with any language. So you can create an article writer, you can create a fiction writer, you can create a product description writer. I'm going to explain you the code bit by bit. One thing I need you from is your attention for just five minutes so that you can be benefited and you can share with others who can be benefited and you can also make some money in the process. So let's get started. You'll find this code in the description of this video. First, let's copy this one, the menu and let's copy it and let's go to our Google Docs and click on extension, then click apps script. And here we are going to delete everything and paste it. So we are just pasting this much from the code. All right, then I will save this project and I'll go to my Google Docs and I will reload the page. Okay, as you can see, a menu appeared here. The name of the menu is name and there is only one menu item. So let's edit the code. So go to extension, go to app script. So here is the menu name. You can change the name. As you can see, this is the name of the menu. We are going to change that name. We are going to change this. So let's say I want to create a writer for my product. So I will change the name of this menu and there is only one item in the menu. I need two items. So you can change it from your side also. You just have to grab this and copy this and hit enter and paste it. So second one is going to be our menu item two. So let me explain you a bit. This is the name of the menu and this is the function of the menu. So I'm creating a writer for my product. So my first name will be description. And my first function will be description. Make sure you make it in small case. So this is our second item. So I need some bullet points with my description. So I will rename it to bullet. And here you can put anything. But for my convenience, I am putting the same name in small case. So you can add any number of menu item you want. So you just have to copy this and just paste this as I showed you before. So let's save this project. And let's go to the Google Doc and let's refresh the page. Okay, as you can see, the name has been changed to product and we have two menu items in the menu. One is description, one is the bullet points. So now let's go to upscript again. Okay, here we have two menu items. This is our first menu item and this is our second menu item. So we are going to create prompts for both of these items. We are going to create a prompt for this item and we are also going to create a prompt for this item. So we can command the AI to generate text for us. So let's go to the code again and go to uh, where it is uh, written that prompt. And here is the end prompt. So you have to grab this. You have to select from prompt to end prompt and copy this. So let's go to our editor and let's paste it. Okay. 
this is going to be our prompt for uh, description we need another prompt also for bullet points so i'm going to paste it again and this prompt is going to be for the bullet points all right so now we are going to change the function the function says menu item one but it's not menu item one this is the function for the description so i'm going to change this function i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to replace this here then we have to change the function for the bullet so i will select and copy the function for the bullet and i'll go to the prompt for bullet and from here i will just replace the function all right so let's hit save now we have two menu items and two prompt is ready two prompts are ready for those two menu items so now we are going to write our command so our first prompt is for description i'll i'll click on here and select everything and hit delete and then i will write my command generate a product description for generate a product description for then the selected text is previously there that means this text you will select and they will click the menu it will generate a product description for the selected text so let's change the prompt for our bullet points so i will hit delete generate bullet points for the product then the selected text i'll be a bit specific generate five bullet points for the product then the selected text and then i'll go to this generate a product description generate i will be more specific 100 words product description for selected so we are done with this we have two menu items you can replicate this any number of time you want and for each menu item we have a prompt okay for description we have a prompt and for bullets we also have a prompt let's open up a new tab and here write open ai and click on openai.com then go to api and then log in with your OpenAI account. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. I'm going to log in with my Google account. So I have already logged in. If you made this far, please like the video. As you can see here, it is uh, saying that ChatGPT is coming to our API. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel i will create a video on that too so click on your profile icon then click on view api keys and from here click on create new secret key and it will generate your api key so we'll leave it there then we'll go to our code and select this text where it says your api and copy this text go to your editor app script editor and you can paste it anywhere you want i'm pasting it on the top so i can replace it so here we are going to replace the api key so i'll just copy my api key and i'll just replace and i'll just delete the previous text 
and then I will save the project. And let's go to our Google document and refresh the page. And here we have the menu, the menu items and the bullet point. And let's say I have a product which is a $5 pin. I want to create a product description for this. So I will select and for the first time it will ask you for authorization. So click continue and choose your account. Go to advance and go to untitled project unsafe and click allow. So let's select this text and go to product and click on description. Okay, it's just provided us a description for the product. Now let's create some bullet points. So select the text, go to product and click bullets. Now it provided us some bullet points. If you made this so far, please like the video, spread the word, spread the good thing. I will I will show you how to create this in a different language. Go to Google Translate and translate. I'm going to translate it to Spanish. So this is okay. I will select this translation and I will go to my code and I will just replace the command. You have to replace the prompt command and click save. And let's refresh this page. And let's select the text, then go to product and hit description. As you can see, it generated a description in Spanish. So to generate your content in any language, you have to put your command in that language. Thank you so much for watching this video and please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned. I'm going to create videos on ChatGPT API when it is available. If you are finding any kind of error with OpenAI's API, you just have to put your credit card so that they can charge you when you will cross the limit. All right. So stay tuned and enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.